YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back on Total War Rome 2 in the DEI mod. Uh, this is where we left off last time. We're going to pick it back up and uh, get ready for a Hannibalic invasion of Britannia, which ought to be pretty fun. Um, haven't done that before. Well, but I can't remember if I did that in my original Carthage campaign or not. There were so many bugs going on in that thing because it was early in the life of Rome 2 that it's really kind of hard to remember. I've got... Um, Garama besieged, and I'm gonna wait until I get the siege equipment in order to take it, and then I'm trying to backtrack with this army to head off the Egyptians who are trying to get behind me. Um, so that's pretty typical for the AI to pull kind of smart aleck moves like that. Three turns till I get that improved dock back there, which will be nice to have. Making plenty of money, we have plenty of money in the treasury, so really nothing to be concerned about at the moment. Let's go ahead and build up some of this stuff back here. What's Public order is pretty good in this province. we got buildings on the way to help it. Uh, let's see. Public order, growth per turn. Eh, let's go ahead and drop that hospital in there. Let's go ahead and... Um, oh, we, we have uh, unassigned upgrades here. So this army, let's go with the campaign map movement range, might be handy. And maybe siege specialists would be kind of fun. And let's see what we got here. Let's uh, get the research rage and empire maintenance. We can upgrade that one again there. That'll be pretty handy. And who else? Nope, that's it. That's all we had. It was both on the same army. Okay, the Egyptians are going to go for Lepsis, and they can probably take care of it, depending on what they've got here. Thurio Swordsman, Native Hoplites. I, rather than going through some kind of big crazy thing here, I'm just going to let them do their thing here. And uh, I'll catch up with them with that other army in the next turn, and we'll get rid of them. They may take the city, they may raise it, I, I don't know what to do. It looks like they're going to take it, so I'll just go take it back. And uh, they won't be able to get behind me at this point, not, not as easily. They do that kind of cheapskate stuff like that because it makes them feel better. Um, don't really think I need to pay you for a non-aggression pact when I can easily just stomp your face. You might have wanted to consider that the other way around. Like, we're going to pay you a lot of money just so that you can only consider to not stomp our face. And then I probably wouldn't consider it, and I'd still keep your money, but at least it would maybe make me consider it for a little while. Uh, no, I won't be taking a peace treaty. If this were... If this were Attila and I could make you into a puppet state that was actually good, I might try that, but, um... It isn't. Okay, we're gonna catch up with the Egyptians at Lepsis and be able to get to fight them. It should be fun. I feel like I've definitely got a superior force. Now they ended up with quite a bit of garrison here considering that they just captured this. Um, and their troops did a considerable amount of retraining too. Not n Nothing crazy, but more than I would have liked to have seen. Let's go ahead and fight this. We've got the troops to crush these guys here. Defensive position or not, I expect that they'll be in pretty rough shape. My reformed Carthaginian infantry should do quite well. Uh, versus these these Egyptian hoplites that don't look like they've been through any major upgrading. Egypt really is a fun faction in the vanilla campaign. It's probably pretty dang fun in uh, DEI too because DEI tends to add a lot of cool units and flavor. I like both. Um, I saw a post on the forum where like someone's like, I don't know how anybody can be a vanilla total like Rome 2 purist. I, I can see it. I could play the game in vanilla all day long. I think I just like to add some variety from time to time, and that's a big part of the reason why I like DEI. It's just the extra variety is fun. Not everybody feels the same way. Um, you know? Uh, so the mods definitely can do some great stuff for Total War games. But then there's a lot of people who just really enjoy their Total War game the way that it is. Um, so yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it any better than that. I think that's just kind of what what the deal is. Take some archers through here. 
let's leave some cow over here to support our peltist. And then let's maybe take some more cav over here to where we need extra mobility. I'm going to go ahead and start moving up troops. Let's move up these peltist over here. They're going to disembark some uh, local archers over here. Let's just kind of stay out of their range and hit them once they come ashore. Looks like the main bulk of the Egyptian army started there on the plaza, but they're going to move back into uh, the little town center area there. Go ahead and push up with the cav. Move up the archers. Move up these guys. And let's move up all the way to here too. Bring our general up. The local archers should be ashore so let's go hammer them. I'm gonna pull this cab back a little. What are they bringing? They're bringing some light peltist over so let's keep an eye out for them. What are, what are they pulling up over here? Garrison Greek spearmen. Maybe let's pop them with some of these Nubian archers real quick. Use my cab to get into these uh, local archers who are disembarking the ships. Only 16 men strong in each unit, so they're going to get absolutely clobbered by this heavy Carthaginian cav. Not going to be a good day for them. Okay, my archers are kind of just picking at this uh, Greek garrison spear unit. Not doing a huge amount of damage by any means. Moving some peltist up over here. They have some light peltist. Go ahead and move up. And let's watch my peltist exchange some fire with these light peltist. I've got a whole bunch of Libyan peltist here. The light peltist have kind of thrown a volley towards me, so I'll let my men return fire. There they go. I think my Libyan Peltis will trade fairly well with these Light Peltis, especially in the numbers that my guys have here. My reformed Carthaginian infantry looking very Romanesque here, other than the fact that they're throwing traditional javelin, not Pila. Let's take a, let's take a closer look at them real quick. Here they are. Yeah, you can see they're using kind of a, a Scutum armament. Looks like a Gladius as well. So yeah. Apparently uh, taking heavily from what they learned in their uh, Punic Wars. My uh, getting a lot of frame drop when we zoom in close to. I think the DEI is a lot rougher on the system as far as uh, potential frame lag and stuff. Peltister doing a good job, just kind of pushing back some enemies here. What do we got over here? More uh, local archers. They're supported by one light spear unit, but. No reason to sit around there, let's just pull back, give a little ground there. Let's go ahead and move up our swordsmen. And let's move up these archers too, take them off, skirmish, fire at will. Push forward a little, yeah. My peltists have wrecked these guys pretty seriously, let's bring them out here to the beach. Let's check these guys, they have not come under fire from anything, there's some Thurio spears over here. Greek swordsmen. kind of like to spread these guys out so that they can fight in a deeper formation. There we go. Actually, let's move up to there. Some of their guys just got past me here trying to get to my archers, so I'm going to turn around with my reformed Carthaginian infantry and Get into these guys. Man, I don't know if it's the city or what it is, but one of these units is making my... Is it the Carthaginian infantry? Something about them making this lag out pretty hard. It's like only when I get close to them, it seems like. to do when I get up on my cavalry? Yeah, it's when I'm getting up close to the units, it seems like it's getting pretty laggy. Um, haven't noticed it doing that before, to be quite honest, on, on Rome 2. Yeah, sorry, just Cortana's always getting into searches for some reason. 
Um, let's check in the graphics settings real quick and see what I've got the uh, advanced option set to. DRA, unlimited video memory, anti-aliasing on, on off, shader model 5, yeah, I, I don't know what would be making it do that. Got everything set to extreme stuff, so that may be why, I mean, it's running okay. I'm not going to get too much more picky about it. Just curious if I had changed anything or turned something on that I shouldn't. Usually there's one or two settings somewhere that may be causing a big portion of the... I'm gonna push those pelt to step. Let them do a little skirmishing with these guys out here. Let's try and take out the native citizen militia that's in my way. Got some Greek skirmisher cab out here as well. I'm gonna actually just kind of let these guys fire at will out here. Um, let's see. Moved up. I've engaged some Thurio spears and Greek swordsmen out here. There's some Thurio swordsmen as well. Ptolemaic cavalry here. I haven't seen one of these yet in the VEI mod, so very cool looking unit. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You know what it could be? It may be the debug camera. I haven't always played with the debug camera on here. It may just get slower laggy zoomed in too, I don't know. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna gauge these Greek swordsmen over here. Let's check on my Thurio Spears. They've driven off some Greek skirmisher cav. They're actually doing pretty well for themselves over here. Let's try and get into melee with them. They should be sturdy enough to hold in uh, melee. Let's try and move our cab around. I'm gonna try and just push everywhere. This uh, Ptolemaic cavalry kind of swinging around for another charge. Let's see if we can get in behind all this business. I'm gonna help jump into this big mess over here with all my peltist and cavalry run down some of these archers. Got some African levies and other stuff coming out now. Let's pull my cavalry back out. My peltist have managed to catch almost everything there. We've now got that blob of infantry surrounded. Let's give these uh, armed townsfolk a charge with my uh, my general. I don't think they're going to like that too much. <laughs> they're going to get pretty clobbered. The Carthaginian bodyguard has been a pretty good unit for me as far as cavalry goes. Okay. I'm going to just use my peltus to tie down spear units back here. And then we'll see if we can swing the cav out and around. We've routed the big blob. There's some Greek garrison spearmen here too. I think I can charge before they really get braced well. Yeah. We'll get a decentish charge there. Got them wavering. Looks like we've busted up that group over there. Got some peltist wavering. Ooh, hang on. Got some native hoplites chasing me here. Let's, uh... See if we can give some better support here. I've got the native hoplites pinned for a second. Let's get the other three units free and charge into the back of this, and then we'll rear charge those native hoplites before they kill too many of my cavalry. In fact, I can take one unit and line up to do just that while we'll smash out the rest of those. I think they had some mercenary Cretan archers over there. Let's hit these uh, native hoplites from behind here. Woo! Yeah, that camera gets laggy down close to the ground. It does pretty good, like, up at this level. It must be... I wonder if it does it like yeah it doesn't even when there's not units around so that's it is something to do with the camera because I don't re yeah I didn't remember the uh, the mod giving me much trouble as far as frame lag or anything all right sweet so managed to take Lepsis back not a big surprise that Carthaginian reform infantry did very well in those engagements definitely gonna enjoy using those guys look at that 326 kills on that one their hoplites um, 
probably weren't used properly. It seems like the hoplite units, at least for Carthage, were pretty dang good on the charge. Those uh, Peltas did a great job. I kind of like that they can really play a better role as light infantry. There are certain Peltas, even in the vanilla game, that can play a role as light infantry. Um, these ones seem to do a good job of it, though, because of their high numbers. Um, it seems like a nice, kind of heavier skirmish unit to use on the flanks. We'll see what other kind of units the Egyptians could potentially throw at us once we get closer to their homelands. Should be fun. It'd be kind of neat if they could do that thing with all the major factions like they did with the Romans, where they levy up more uh, troops in response to your invasion. That's It is kind of a cool mechanic against maybe the larger factions. Could be a lot of fun. Let's see... Four turns till we get the port we want. Since no one over here is expecting me to be at war with them, I mean, I could probably just sneak across with a few ships and then just build ships to support later. So that's probably what I'll do. Public order, trader, local agora, gymnasia. Let's go ahead and build that. Build the Odeon, that, upgrade the farms, just kind of get that province maxed out. We're gonna get on the ships here. Okay, we got our army on board. Let's go drop them over here. Be a couple of turns and then we're gonna probably need to reach out here and uh, start taking out some of these other factions like the the Nervii and others. I'm just going to go for uh, some pretty pretty awesome Carthaginian dominance here, I think, is kind of where I want to take this. I am taking attrition out here. Uh, I think we should be able to auto-resolve up a victory here, though it's actually screwing me over quite heavily on the auto-resolve. Not quite certain why that is. I think I would do pretty good. Alright, what's the, uh, I got eight ladders, and all I'm going up against is African Garrison Spearmen. They do have an elephant unit. Garmontine Horse Skirmishers. I guess I'll go ahead and fight this. I don't know if I've done a lot of sieges. Really would have been nice if they could have worked the siege escalation into Rome too. It's really a pity that they did not, as well as the uh, the family tree and some of the other stuff. Seems like they should have added it to Rome too, and then released it in Attila. I'm not saying Attila shouldn't have had some new features, but it just really is kind of sad that. Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to see a lot of that effort that they put into making some of those changes in Attila just be done to Rome 2 and then Attila be more of a uh, like expansion campaign type thing where it gives you new factions and maps and stuff but not necessarily be as much of a whole new game as it was um, but then again I don't know maybe people were really wanting a new game rather than Rome 2 I, I don't know what people wanted does that gate have oil? gatehouse with oil indeed so I really don't want to be screwing with the gate not with these guys, at least. Got African pikes. Probably not going to be the greatest in city combat, but I'll see what I can do with them. I thought I had more ladders than this. Apparently I did not. Well, let's drop this thing here. And we'll switch with that unit that was more damaged. Let's get these guys over here. Uh, these ones here, these guys here. Yeah, some of our infantry is in pretty rough shape. We'll just have to make it work. We can put a backup unit there. We got our pikes that can go here. I might try to bash the gate, but I'd prefer not to if I can help it because the burning oil is gonna shred my guys pretty bad. Okay, let's go ahead and start the battle. Uh, 
Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward, see what we're up against over here. Garmontians have a lot of African slingers and archers here. Local hunters, tribesmen. Yeah, local hunters. African tribesmen. So yeah, they're gonna have a lot of missiles. They're using flaming missiles, trying to burn my ladders, actually. Not a bad plan. I don't think it's gonna be enough focused flaming fire to actually get the job done, though. We'll see, though. It's gonna take me another minute to get the ladder up there, and we'll just see how much fire they can put on it. This one has taken the most flaming damage so far. I would rather them try the flaming damage than the standard stuff, because it's gonna do less to my, uh, my men. And let, well, I guess that depends. I haven't looked at flaming ammunition here to see what the, uh, changes are. They could have changed the characteristics of the flaming shot. Okay. Got my guys to the wall. The tower fire is going to be extreme. Go ahead and start rolling my pike infantry up. And let's start rolling up these peltists. And I'm just going to move my cavalry a little closer. Okay, got my guys going up the ladder. They're going to be engaging in combat now. I'm going to take them out of formation attack. Let's just see if we can get these guys engaged. Got reinforcements running up. I should have started these guys off a little bit sooner. My guys on the wall should do pretty well. They should be able to outmatch. The biggest concern I have is just kind of getting this tower uncapped because it's going to be doing the most damage to me. Way more so than the, uh, the troops on top of there. I am worried about outflanking penalties. I don't really know how well that works on the walls here. I suppose my men could still be outflanked or attacked in the rear. This one is. So yeah, that's that's potentially quite bad because being attacked in the rear causes the very big penalties. Gates are destroyed, so we could try and force through and capture the gatehouse. I'm going to pull my general up to try and stabilize the morale of these Carthaginian infantry. It's going to be risky, though, to get him that close to as many units as can be shooting like this. Oh, hold in there, Carthaginian infantry. They're not wavering, so that, that's a good sign. We're actually going to capture this tower over here, which is great. I'm going to come down. And we've actually decapped the... Um, we've decapped the gatehouse, so it shouldn't dump boiling oil on me. So this is actually going quite well so far. Let's actually war cry some of the enemy units around here. Actually, I don't know if my war cry did anything. Just kind of move my general back over. And yeah, let's put our peltist off fire at will and skirmish. Go ahead and move them in. Go ahead and keep doing some attack there. There we go. I think my guys are in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and move the pikes in here, too. We have captured a tower. All right, captured the tower on the flank. And we can now start moving up against these African tribesmen. So we've managed to crush most of the resistance here. We're gonna have to be careful. There's elephants left somewhere in the city. They could be back here in this defensive position. That is quite the defensive position. I'm gonna come in this way though where the towers are destroyed already, but there's still other towers that are gonna menace me. But we did a pretty good job of taking the walls with relatively few losses. Okay, bring my peltist up to give me some cover over here as we push into the city. Let's bring the cavalry in and make sure that all my skirmishers are off fire at will. And my... Carthaginian reform infantry doing very nicely on the walls, very nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and just start moving some of these guys. Let's keep our general back at a safe distance. Got some African tribesmen here. Let's uh, pitch some javelins at them. Give them a little return fire. We have captured the gates. 
Yeah, we're getting some good return fire there. I need to save some javelins for the elephants as well. We're going to need them. Don't see the elephants just yet. Got some African garrison spearmen, a large shield warrior over there. I wonder what these guys look like in the DI. They were cool units. Yeah, I like those. Those are looking good. The skins on those units are cool. They're engaging their cloaking device, though, so we're going to have to watch out for those guys. Okay, got my javelins. Let's... Let's just attack these African tribes. No, they're going to run for me. Okay, javelin them in the back then. They act like they want to attack me, but then when I charge them, they run away. Which allows me to throw javelins into their spine. I'm a big fan of this. They're now caught in melee. They couldn't get away from me there, so see my heavier javelin men hitting theirs. That ought to go pretty well for my guys. Yeah, we're going to wipe those guys out pretty quickly. And uh, let's try and get this next African tribesman unit. We'll do the same thing. If they try and run, I'll stop and throw javelins at them. Spew the javelins. They act like they want to fight me in melee if I'm throwing javelins. And then run from me if I'm not. My guys are almost catching them. There we go. I'm going to push up. Let's get all my infantry down here too. Probably bring up some pike infantry as well. Got all my guys on the move. We've completely cleared off the walls. We are going to take this capture point over here. Which men are wavering? Really? Oh, they're still being attacked. I did not realize that, so that would explain why they're wavering. I probably just got a whole bunch of them killed. Oh, this is going to be sad if I let them get killed. wonder if we can get close enough with the general to help stabilize these guys. Casualty sustained is getting to him right now. I didn't realize there was more units up on the wall. That's irritating. Let's see kind of like to get my uh, peltist up here to do some scouting. Some African garrison spearmen. Okay, let's bring our... Uh, um, let's try and use this Libyan cab see if we can decap this gatehouse over here. I don't know what else I'd really like to use them for at the moment. Because I'd really like to bring my pikemen around to this this side here. Yeah, that gatehouse is probably gonna it's gonna be shooting out some pretty serious arrow carnage there. Let's see if we can get rid of these dang units up here. We definitely hurt their morale pretty bad. They're shaken, but not stirred. I mean, not wavering. Oh yeah, we're taking massive losses trying to decap this. They're gonna just completely shoot my Numidian cab to death. Move the pikemen up there to finish that decap. Not the ideal unit for that because they're slow. Let's get turned around with these pikemen. We could potentially be charged by these spearmen. Get over here. Okay, I've got some pikes headed over here. That thing's going to completely recap itself while I'm trying to decap it, and it'll probably kill my unit of pikemen, too. The towers have ludicrous, ludicrous arrow damage. These guys up here are still fighting. Steady with 84 men left. Let's come bust our way through these garrison spearmen. And uh, let's take one group over this way. Like I said, we are going to have to keep an eye out for the elephants. Eh, my pikemen aren't getting too destroyed. As long as their flanks secure, we can go ahead and kind of move up and use my pikes to uh, 
push their guys out of this um, plaza area here. I'm going to attack those African garrison spearmen, and then also these garrison spearmen over here too. Let's get our uh, peltas ready to support in case those elephants pop up. Yeah, let's actually keep our guys away from those towers over there. Hope that these guys haven't been standing too close to those towers. Probably closer than I should have let them get. Looks like we finally broke those guys on the wall. That's good news. Yeah, the garrison spearmen are going to get beaten down pretty bad. Shouldn't be a match for my uh, reformed Carthaginians here. My pseudo-Romans. There we go. My pikemen have kind of pushed through the plaza, and it looks like the enemies that were there have taken off. I see the elephants. If we just push... Um, Let's just do this. Let's push our pikemen up to that point, and we will back them up with uh, Peltist. Uh, actually, we can't just run through Peltist that are still fighting, or uh, spearmen that are still fighting. We can probably get around over here, though. It's going to take my pikes a while to walk up, though. I want to walk them forward so that they can pin the enemy in, so I am going to have to fast forward going to take a moment. Okay. Let's kind of move all these guys around. Get that obelisk out of my way. Let's actually rear charge these guys over here and get rid of them. Let's watch my peltas come in. To keep an eye, those elephants kind of moseying around back there. I don't know exactly what they got in mind. Those peltas look so cool. I like the color scheme and the, the skins on those guys. These local garrison spearmen are going to get outflanked. The remaining units, are they going to waver or are they going to stand, stand strong? My pikemen ought to do pretty well on these dense ranks with their flanks secured. Going to take them a good long while to move up though. Okay, let's see. They're going to come down at me with some garrison spearmen. Their guys will not be well onto the front of my pikes, though. Let's brace for the elephants. Pull back a little bit with our peltas. The elephants are going to go straight into pikes. It's going to damage them quite badly. Though they are going to get into the back of my men here a little bit. I'm going to turn around and pour the javelins into these elephants before they route my pikes because I haven't attacked in the rear penalty right now. So we're going to have to unload the javelins here. We are taking down elephants. Should be taking them down at a very rapid pace, but these guys were already routed due to the elephant rear attack from having come around behind them. We have limited their elephants, though, to kills. We've limited them to only 36 kills. Yeah, they just got up about 50, but elephants are completely gone at this point. I'm going to hit the Garamantine horse skirmishers. Our pikes have stabilized. Should be able to push into the uh, Garamantine cabin. These uh, pikemen should come back from routing. There we go. Yeah, these, these pikemen should hold out. Look at me pushing around the elephant corpses with the pikemen. Surprised those guys haven't come back from routing already. With the elephants gone, there's no real substantial uh, Garamontian threat. Okay, let's uh, target more of those cavalrymen. Those spearmen are kind of in my way. But I should be able to get some javelin tosses up here and kill a lot of horse skirmishers. The garrison spearmen are dying to my pikemen. They're not dying particularly quickly, but they're dying. These horse skirmishers look very cool. 
very cool. But they're uh, not going to be looking so good with the javelin in their face. Yeah, their guys are starting to rout uh, in mass now. Let's move the pikemen up. This pike unit's come back from routing as expected, and Garmontian's given out. That's pretty fun. I haven't fought a siege battle on here in a while. I enjoyed that. The uh, reform infantry are quite good at it. You don't have to worry about getting charges or being in hoplite phalanx. They seem uh, like a good match for getting up on the walls and being involved in combat. Though I, I almost feel like the late Carthaginian hoplites on open ground are probably every bit as deadly as the uh, reform infantry is. Or the late Carthaginian infantry, whatever they call it. That's pretty cool, killing the elephants too. They did not die uh, super quickly to the javelins, which is an interesting change in DEI too. Um, meaning that you could potentially still see them get some kills. They go berserk though, so you can't really control them. Uh, but I, I kind of like that. I mean, it's an int interesting trade. They, they live a little longer, but they, they go out of the player's control so that they can't uh, maneuver them so precisely through the heart of combat, I guess. So we've destroyed Garamantia and taken control of this uh, whole province, which is pretty nice. Gonna uh, get rid of some of these chain buildings here. I might be able to upgrade my horsemen with them though before we. No. Okay. Or do we have to have them? No. Okay. Yeah. Let's just tear them down. I don't need any military structures back here, so. Switch over to that. Do a shrine of Tanit. There we go. So yeah, we've gotten Garamantia, we've got Lepsis. We can now push forward on the Egyptians uh, up here to uh, Agula, Agula, Agila, and then uh, Cyrene. And I will be building a fleet uh, here at Carthago. It's two turns until I have access to the type of fleet I want. Hannibal is on his way um, to Britannia. So a couple of turns and he'll land up there and then these stacks here We're going to uh, need to retrain a couple of units or pick up a couple of mercenaries one of the two and Take them over and pay a visit to Germania, which should be fun getting to invade uh, some different territories and uh, Have some fun matchups with the Carthaginians versus all these other uh, awesome factions so air of Carthage signing off for now. Hope you enjoyed it